So Mark, what do we have here? So this is the um, bottom of the number two port fuel tank. So this has had all the pumps removed, all the ancillary items removed, the plate has been removed, and what you're looking at, the cream colour, is the actual bag of the tank itself. And the studs are part of the tank, this is all part of the tank. So what, in a Vulcan, what you have is you have bagged tanks. So you have a skin that forms the basic shell of, of the tank, the basic shape, and then uh, you have bags that would be folded up, inserted, spread out, and then pop it in. So the fuel actually sits in a bag. It doesn't sit actually on the skin of the aircraft. So that's what we've got up there now. It's basically um, <coughs> little poppers that have holes in the airframe. So those, you might just be able to see one of those. Yes. That's a popper. So you, there's all these all dotted around the tank and you have to if, when you're inside the tank, you have to locate them, push them out, and then pop them in, and that secures it all the way around the skin of the tank. So this is inside number two fuel tank. Which is rather cool. Mark, what are those float sensors at the top of the tank? So those are the float switches. This is one of the really cool things working with these guys. You just never know what you're going to walk into. If you'd said to me in the middle of the week that uh, on Saturday I'd be inside a fuel tank uh, and filming the inside of a fuel tank of a Vulcan bomber, uh, I would have laughed at you. I'm going to ask Matt about these vertical arrays in a minute and see if we can find out what they're for. Inside the tank there was two floats on top float, of the tank? Float switches at the top of the tank. So what they do, when you set the aircraft up to refuel itself from the Bowser, you can set up the aircraft computer to essentially automatically do the refuelling of the aircraft. So it will fill the number one tanks, it will fill the number two tanks. When those float switches trip with the as the fuel has risen up, it will then the aircraft will automatically shut off filling the number two tank and automatically move on to fill the next tank that you program the aircraft computer to do in the aircraft refueling system. So there is a preset sequence of the tanks so filling you, up? So you can set the aircraft to fill any tank in any order that you want to and the aircraft refueling computer will completely sort it out, dial in the tanks and automatically shut the refueling off when it gets to the required. That just um, helps keep the C or G in the correct place. So the C of G you would figure that out when you were dialing in the settings to make sure that so we always fill the forward tanks um, first there's a quite famous picture of a Vulcan where it didn't have fuel at the front it was snow and the front end just lifted up so we always keep fuel forward um, so you always fill the front tanks first and then you move backwards um, and the aircraft will effectively manage the refueling itself Perfect. The other thing I wanted to know about was inside of the tanks are those belts with yep. that you can see lots of wires going through. Yeah, so those are the belts that actually indicate the level of fuel within the tank. So you've got a pair of belts at the front on this side and a pair of belts at the back on this side. Now, why they're positioned the way they are is, yes, we can measure the level as we're perfectly fine sitting here level, but when the aircraft's up in the air, it's front to back, port to starboard, you've got to make sure that the aircraft can still tell how much fuel it's got in the tank. So that's why they're positioned the way they are. So that's all to do with telling how much fuel's um, in the tanks each time. Well, we're talking earlier on about number two fuel tank. Number two fuel tank. And yep. is that capacity of it? So capacity is 935 gallons or 7,480 pounds per tank. Yep. So those are your individual tanks. Bombay tanks, total capacity, so total capacity at 100%, 74,000 pounds of fuel, nearly 9,260 gallons of fuel for the aircraft. That's a lot of fuel. A lot of fuel for the aircraft, yes.